Hi, I'm Dan Rosenstark with MIDI Designer and I'm going to be talking about Snap to Value which is a new function in version 1.3.7. In Ableton Live I've got some samples playing. They sound like this. And I've got them running through a pitch bend. So that sounds like this. Okay, and I'm going to use that uh, to show how Snap to Value works. Okay, so uh, in MIDI Designer, I have a knob uh, which is mapped to the pitch in Ableton Live. And what I want to do is I want to control this knob uh, via this button. The first thing that I want to note uh, is that if I triple tap on the knob, it will reset to its default value. So that's a starting point, and that's actually where I want to snap to for in the first place. So what I'm going to do is enter design mode, go to more, design mode. This is just a regular button. The only thing interesting about this button so far is that I've changed the type from toggle to momentary. So it's got to be a momentary button. Toggle will work, but it will do something slightly different. We can go over that in a different video. So it's a momentary button. And now I'm going to go into relationships. And I'm going to make this button a super control. And its sub controls are going to be this pitch knob. So now what this will do uh, by default is it will step it will step the pitch through its values but what we want to do is have it do snap to value so to get to that I go into the pitch knob and I go onto the advanced tab and here you can see snap sub to value and I'm just going to increase that up to 75 milliseconds now the question is, what will it snap the sub's value to? And this is not particularly obvious, and I may have to indicate this in a better way. But it will snap it to the max MIDI value. So again, I switch to the MIDI tab, adjust the max value, and I'm going to put it at 64 here, which is the center for the knob. Apply, exit design mode. So now we get this effect. Okay, so we snap to value and the snap goes straight to the center. So now I'm just going to add some other snaps by making similar buttons to this that are uh, a bit lower and a bit higher. So I'm going to go into design mode. I'm just going to take this pitch knob, uh, this pitch uh, button, and I'm going to make a similar one and put it to the right. And I'm going to make another similar one and put it to the left. Now one of the things that a lot of you know about MIDI Designer is that it will allow me to not have to double tap so much. I can lock this using the LED at the top right. So now I'm looking at pitch 2. I'm just going to adjust the max value here. This will be the down one. So I'm going to make this um, 52, which I know beforehand and that that should be a fifth down. Um, I'm going to go here, go to advance, uh, sorry, go to MIDI, min max, and this one is going to be, if that one was 52, which is uh, 11 down, this one's going to be 74 or 75, so 11 up, I hit apply now. And now we should already have something that's musically pretty interesting. So going back to Ableton, starting the samples. OK, 
Okay, so that's a start, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take uh, these three buttons and I'm going to make similar ones, and I'm just going to add longer time. So I'm going to go into design mode, double tap, and like I said, if we lock this panel in place, everything is a lot easier. So I'm going to do a make similar, make similar, make similar. So now I've got three similar ones and I'm going to move them into place and I'm going to take each of them and just adjust its time so this one was 75 milliseconds so I'm going to make it two seconds same with this one and same with this one okay and now I exit design mode and now we've got two musically uh, interesting things so going back starting the samples Okay, so that's a start, and now what I want to do is just show one other feature that uh, I put in in response to some of the lighting users. What they wanted to have was something that moves at a fixed rate. So I'm just going to take uh, this middle knob here, uh, sorry, this middle button, pitch four, and I'm going to change it to snap at fixed speed and I'm going to increase the time to um, 8 seconds and what this is going to do is it's always going to move at the same speed it would take 8 seconds to cover the entire knob range so it's going to take significantly less than that to move to the default value depending on where it is it'll take more time or less time because it's now moving at a fixed speed so I exit design mode and now I get my samples moving again So those are some of the variations. Obviously, it's a pretty open world, and you can construct a lot of things uh, using this. You can do super control, sub control chaining, and a whole bunch of different things. Uh, it's a world to explore. OK, I uh, hope that video was instructive and that you understood how to use snap to value if you have any questions, please check out mididesigner.com forward slash QA uh, for frequently asked questions and to ask questions, or you can send me an email to support at mididesigner.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for checking out Midi Designer. Thanks for the likes, the buys, the interest, uh, the reviews, everything, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks again.